So, born and raised in Virginia Beach, near the beach. I um, sort of got baptized as a young child, but I wasn't sort of in a church, wasn't really part of one. Um, through my teenage years, I sort of emphasized myself, my social life, um, in my late teens and 20s. I um, had a couple of solid careers, but I didn't stick with them. I always sort of was searching for something that I didn't know what was missing. Um, so, and so that's looking back on it, I know that that's what it was. And I had, you know, careers in finance and insurance in my early 20s. And um, I just sort of wanted to, ultimately I wanted to be a pilot. Everything felt like a stepping stone. My view of God growing up was, um, God was there. God was sort of out on the outside looking in. He was going to be there when I needed him. But I did not have God forefront, and I certainly was not consulting God on my decisions. I was kind of a weekend warrior. Uh, in Virginia Beach, I met my wife. And uh, or met who would become my wife, and we just immediately, you know, how it says iron sharpen iron. Um, she had faith as a pastor's daughter, and I just exponentially grew in the church with her. It was amazing. We ended up getting married within the first year, then immediately got rebaptized, rededicated. Um, my pastors were speaking over me that yeah, I would have exponential growth, and and that's what ended up happening. Then, in prayer, my wife gets this feeling, this message, this word from God, she's going to join the Navy. And that was a radical shift from what our plans were. We became obedient to the Lord. She joined the Navy. That is how we, we actually made it happen together. As soon as we got here, we, we got interested in, in plugging into a church right away. Uh, we wanted to carry on this growth that we had been having. Uh, we are married three years now, spent the past two years in Maryland. We had a list of churches to go to. South Point was the first one. After the first service, we did not find any reason to go anywhere else, and we didn't. I had not, previous to South Point, I had never been part of a, a small group. But um, we wanted to get into something, uh, people our age, and meet people around here. You can meet people at social clubs or bars, but what you have in common is that you're part of a club or a bar. Uh, when you meet someone in a small group, what you have in common is your faith in the Lord. So things can get real deep real quick. And as it turns out, that's exactly what the uh, medication was that we, we needed. Um, we found Matt and Amy. They were incredibly welcoming into their home. As soon as I walked on the door, I felt comfortable right away and uh, started sharing things that I would not have shared you know, in, in other venues. My wife and I don't have children of our own yet. That's by choice. We've got um, my 12-year-old nephew living with us. Uh, as it turns out, he needed a little bit of help. Uh, he wasn't doing so well in school. His, uh, his mom needed to figure a lot of things out in her own life, and it was looking like she couldn't do both. You know, we always go back to the verse, and I'm, I'm probably gonna butcher it, but it says, if you know what you're gonna be doing next year, and you haven't consulted the Lord, then you're probably wrong. And so we are firm believers in that. And, and every year things look different, and every year we are so thankful that they do. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. It wasn't hard to make that decision to, to bring Matthew into our lives, and so far it's been wonderful. Um, also knowing that we have a South Point family to lean on. So that raised our confidence level to take something like this on, another life. While we can help Matthew in some ways, you gotta know where you're not qualified. Uh, so we were talking in small group about some professionals that he could talk to one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I think it's always helpful to talk to someone on the outside of your box. We just happened to share about Matthew and uh, we got resources like right then and there. Someone in the room was a social worker or a former social worker. I got phone numbers right away. And that week, I've been thinking about it four weeks, and that week after small group, we, uh, we, we got plugged in. So Matthew, uh, when he was in foster care, that he wanted to stay with the adults, so they let him. And he heard a lot of pretty adult-themed gospel-based messages. He actually ate that up and took it to heart. Um, so his experience with South Point 
has been mostly online, actually. Uh, and he made the decision to get baptized on his own from watching the messages in our living room. It's pretty phenomenal stuff. Being involved in a small group has affected my marriage in ways that I did not predict. Um, her and I being in the same room sharing in front of each other, not to each other, has really sparked up conversations that my wife and I never would have had. Um, you know, I, if I share something with Amy, Matt, and the rest of the group that has been on my mind, on my heart, good or bad, maybe I haven't brought it up to my wife yet. Maybe it's not one of those things that I would talk to my wife about, but now it is. And same with her. She'll share things right in front of me. I didn't know that was on your mind. That's so cool. I've actually been thinking the same thing, and we would have just passed each other on the highway. But with small group and Matt and Amy, we've had a lot more conversations than, uh, than we may have had.